Hello everyone and welcome to Traveling with Francoise. I am Francoise Rhodes, your host. I want to make sure that you are seeing this so give me a comment, a thumbs up as soon as this pops up on your screen so I can make sure that we are live because in the world of internet we know something always goes wrong. <laughs> so, I, so I am in Borrego Springs. I am at the Borrego Outfitters here and today we're going to go for a little shopping tour. Yes, I know those of you who are out there, travelers, some of you just love to shop. You just love to shop. Others of you want to go to museums. Hey Graham, how are you? Some of you just want to hang around by the pool. Others want to dine at restaurants. Some of you want to do a little bit of everything, but for those of you where shopping is really important, I am here in Borrego Springs. I am at one of the most fun stores out there. It is called the Borrego Outfitters. And I guess today I am on, I am on live Facebook today and I'll share it to the other channels later on but again I'm gonna take the phone off my stand right now and I'm Francoise Rhodes and this is live traveling with Francoise coming to you from Borrego Springs and today like I say we're gonna do a little shopping and I want you to see how great and fun this store is because a lot of times people think in the smaller communities there isn't a lot of shopping out there and hey hi that is Dan, I think. Hi, Dan. How are you? Let's see. Okay, we got it. Let's not get into politics on this show. Okay, no politics. We're not even going there. Right now, we are going shopping. So, okay, let's not do that. That's not what this show is all about. This is about travel and seeing things. So, okay, anyway, back to shopping. So, a lot of you think in smaller towns that maybe it's all just t-shirt shops and souvenir shops and places like that. Well, here in Borrego Springs, they have a lot of unique very interesting stores here and this one is so much fun because it covers everything for the traveler and then some so okay I am going to grab the phone we're gonna go on a tour and then we'll talk about travel news in just a little bit and for those of you who are watching from other channels I'll be sharing this over and I did start a little early it's about five minutes to 12 but you know hey when I get set up I just like to go for it so I am going to flip this around I'm going to take this off the hook and let's go shopping. All right. Now I want you to see these items here because these are just so crazy beautiful. Don't they look like clay terracotta plates? They're actually plastic. Can you believe this? All right. So let's just start. We will wander around. Again, I am at the Borrego Outfitters in Borrego Springs and they have everything as I'm walking around my tripod. I mean, we're talking everything. I don't know if I've ever been to a store like this that has so much. And again, we're in the small town of Rego Springs, of course, a huge visitor's destination. And there are lots of shops here, but there's really none like the Borrego Outfitters. For those of you that hike, look at this. Look at the hiking wire here. Okay, and I'm Francoise Rhodes and welcome to Traveling with Francoise. We are going to Thursdays right now this month because just I just have a little bit of change of schedule. Look at the shoes, but we're, we're just started here. Hey Gary, how are you? Yeah, I just kind of jumped on. We know what I do. Right now I'm at the Borrego Outfitters. And for those of you, when you come to Borrego Springs, you have to come into this store. It is just so much fun. It is never ending, it seems, of just about everything. And that's why I'm so amazed because again, like I say, you wouldn't expect to find this much variety. Oh, there's Coachella Valley. <laughs> yeah, had a little problem with one of my other ways to get online, so here I am. Anyway, we are shopping right now. Before we get into travel news, you can actually go to their store online. And this really is to show you the variety of what is out here. And that's what just blows me away. There is just something for everyone. So if you come into Borrego Springs and they have, of course, the grocery stores are here and whatnot, but you forget something, you need a gift, you want some clothes, you just want to poke around, spend a couple hours, this is the place to come. Hey, Lucy, how are you? And I'm trying to go slow, but I get carried away. So I am trying to go slow. Of course, lots of books. There are games, cards, 
postcards. We are shopping. Normally we don't, I'm not, I don't normally shop a lot when I do travel, but there's a lot of people, they love, look at these, are these glass? Are these plastic? What are, they're plastic. Can you believe that? I love those. Okay. As I'm getting, oh, look at these. They're so pretty. Look at this. Um, like I say, there's not, I am not, I, I Lucy, I'm just yakking away here. So I just wanted you to see the inside of the store to show you the variety that here is in a small town and they have shops like this. So Borrego Springs is really unique. Of course, there's cards, postcards, sunglasses, all that you want. And then we are gonna talk about some travel news and jewelry, yes, jewelry. I really can't think of anything that might not be in this store except for groceries, which are gonna go to the grocery store. Hats. And again, this is the Borrego Outfitters. Love this store. Look at all the clothes, handbags, purses, more hats. I know I need to slow down. Yes. And we are going to talk about some travel news. So don't worry. Don't worry about that for all you travelers out there. Again, I'm just showing you that there is a variety. There isn't just always t-shirt shops and places where you're going, eh, I don't want to bother. Sometimes it's worth taking your time to just look around poke in some of the stores and see what's happening. More clothes, lots of clothes. In fact, ladies have some really cute items here that you don't find everywhere. I mean, they're very unique items. So this is why I wanted to, plus it's hot outside. I don't know. I thought this would just be fun to give you an idea that life in small towns, a lot of times is a lot more than what you expect. So again, we are at the Borrego Outfitters. I'm going to wander back over to my tripod. See, we're open. They're open today, seven days a week from 10 to 5. So come on over. Let's see? Jewelry. Yeah, so how's everybody doing today in the hot weather? I know a lot of you are staying in, just hanging out. Again, they have activities, games, kids. Hope you had a great 4th of July. All right, look at what's over here. As we are shopping here in Borrego Springs, we're at the Borrego Outfitters. Oh, we have puzzles. Oh, I love puzzles. Oh my gosh, a glow in the dark. Okay, I'm going to be back to get that one. Yeah, I love puzzles. I have puzzles set up all the time on one table to where when I just want to give my brain a break, I just wander over and I'm looking at the puzzles. Oh my gosh, I'll be back for that. I have to get my mind on the show, Francois, you're working here, so. Like all the things for artists, lots of things here. So much to do and see here in Borrego Springs. So as we are on our little shopping adventure at the Borrego Outfitters, which is at the mall, by the way, in downtown Borrego Springs, right along Palm Canyon Road. Yes, there is a mall. It's not your typical mall. Here's some fun little items here. Look at this. Yes, like I say, it's not your typical mall. It's an outdoor mall. And there's restaurants and of course there's some sculptures here and all sorts of uh, unique items here at the mall they have hairdressers and uh, Mediskin studios and all sorts of things but again when you, I say the mall when I point people to the mall from the chamber a lot of times they're thinking hmm the mall I didn't see a mall well you probably drove right by it because it is downtown on Palm Canyon and whew, all right I'm gonna flip the camera around all right, here I am as we were enjoying our little shopping adventure here in Borrego Springs. I am Francoise Rose and you're watching Traveling with Francoise. I hope all of you are having a great day, day out there. It is very hot, kind of humid here in Borrego Springs, but uh, you know what? It's hot and humid almost everywhere, so we'll take it. It's summer. It's what we, we do. We learn to live in these extreme temperatures. We just live a little differently. We hike in the morning. Don't go hiking in the middle of the day. Please, no matter if you think you're the most experienced hiker in the world, don't do it. It's crazy. It's not worth it. Go in the morning, early, or late evening. Yes. And I today have decided to take you on a little shopping trip. 
and here we are. But there's a lot of things going on in the world of travel. So I'm gonna to get to that right now. Craig was at the Pageant of the Masters. Yes, he did a phenomenal video. You'll see them on Traveling with Francoise. Uh, they do, they started their season, they're back, the Pageant of the Masters on Laguna Beach, the Sawdust Festival. They were not there last year, of course, because of the pandemic. They are back, going strong, full big crowd there for the VIP night. Did a great job. Thanks, Craig, for your videos over there. Really appreciate it. One of my favorite things to do each year, uh, but you need to book those reservations online, buy those tickets online because they're gonna be really busy <laughs> this year. People are making up for last year that they didn't go. So remember, Pageant of the Masters, Laguna Beach, check it out, just Google it online. Of course, on the videos, watch them. You'll see what's going on there and you'll see why you should go because the Pageant of the Masters really is um, unique. It's where art comes to life and you don't always know the people that are in the pieces of art until they let them move around and some pieces they never let the people move around so you never really know how many people are in those pieces of art but it's a complete show and it's really a quite a fun experience set on the grounds there with artists and food and all sorts of things so again watch those videos that craig posted and uh, check it out and go you're going to enjoy it and remember you have to reserve those tickets online all right, let's jump into travel because this is Traveling with Francoise. Yes, and again, I'm Francoise Rhodes. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody that's out there. And we will be sharing this to different sites as we go along. Got to thank my sponsors too, because without them, I wouldn't be here. I don't know where I'd be, but I wouldn't be doing Traveling with Francoise. And we'll talk about them in a minute. So here's my big travel tip for the week. Remember each week I come up with a travel tip and I tell you about and hope something you might listen, you might not. I don't know, whatever you wanna do, take it with a grain of salt. However, I am not an expert. I'm just someone who loves to travel. Well, this one has to do with Yosemite. Yes, Yosemite is not out of reach this summer. The park there, beautiful park. If you've never been, you need to go. They say August and September dates for three day passes are available right now. Remember I said before that you need to make reservations at all of these places. Well, if you check out recreation.gov, which is really easy to use, if the dates show unavailable, they say fear not, over 1,000 passes are released to book seven days in advance. That means if you'd like to go next Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, that you can book seven days in advance. And uh, they are also thinking that when October rolls around that you won't need reservations at Yosemite. So if you've never been to that park, it is beautiful. Drive on, go all the way down into the bottom into the canyon where the hotels are. There are some hotels down there and some cabins, of course, camping everywhere. And don't forget extreme fire danger this year. So please, be careful, okay? Um, so Yosemite, that's my travel tip. If you've never been, go, go to the park. It is beautiful. Go to recreation.gov, G-O-V. Remember, you do need reservations now, but they're releasing passes all the time, uh, but they're thinking it around October that you won't need to make reservations anymore. Once this, pan this craziness, it's almost a pandemic of travel, actually, what's going on right now with so many people out there, the roadways, the skies, full cruising is going full bore. We're gonna to get to that in a minute, but uh, it is a little bit of craziness out there, so be careful. All right, and I'm Francoise Rhodes. Thanks for joining me for live traveling with Francoise. Coming to you from Borrego Springs, I'm at the Borrego Outfitters. Even have some wine back there. Yes, this store is so much fun. You don't wanna miss it when you come to Borrego Springs. But always stop by the Chamber of Commerce first and get whatever information you can about all the things to do in Borrego Springs and pick up our Embrace Borrego Guide and you will have an idea of what's happening here in Borrego Springs. Okie doke, let's talk about some travel news. Let's see, Craig put a post up there that says, what an amazing show, Made in America is this year's theme. And who doesn't love, except for maybe some disgruntled people, Made in America. Gotta love Made in America. So, right on. Good for them. All right, travel news. The Department of Transportation intends to make airlines refund fees if checked bags are late. This is huge news. They're working on this. You know, we lose our bag, we don't get it till five or six days later. <laughs> By the time our trip is almost over. And yeah, what was the, the point in even getting the bags at that point? All right. There's a proposal out there and they are really gonna work on this to get it passed. 
that will require refunds if airlines fail to deliver a bag within 12 hours of passengers U.S. flights touching down or 25 hours with international flights. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Yeah, uh-huh, I think so. So Department of Transportation is working on this right now. They think things have gotten way out of hand with when the airlines get the bags to you if they are misplaced, lost, or just on the wrong flight. So they are working on it. Hey, Pee Wee, how are you doing? Our Vegas man. We need to go to Vegas. Need to go to Vegas and see all these new things happening in Vegas. And I'll be talking about Vegas in just a second. But let's go to the cruise lines. They relaunched service over the weekend, but we be prepared for some confusion because there is a lot of confusion out there. Uh, we'll talk about that coming up in a minute as well. But let's jump over to Vegas, Las Vegas MGM is buying out the city center partner, uh, selling Aria and Vidara real estate to MGM Resorts International, which has agreed to buy these properties for $3.89 billion in cash that is Blackstone Group is buying them for $3.89 billion. So those hotels and resorts will be moving over to a new company. Lots of things happening in Vegas. If you haven't been, of course, the resort, uh, World Resorts is open. So many new things opening in Vegas. They were taking their time out during the pandemic to actually up the ante. And wow, they've been doing amazing out there. So again, if you missed this show, don't worry about it. It's gonna be on Facebook now and that's how it grows for eternity so you'll catch it later and i know a lot of you just jump back on and you're supposed to be working actually aren't you well it's about noon time about 10 after so maybe you're at lunch break but for those of you that are working the show will be here later and it'll be on other channels as well so not to worry all right so vegas again doing a lot of things happening in vegas so Hanama Bay Natural Preserve and Hawaii, let's jump over to Hawaii. They are double, doubling their entry fee for visitors. Out-of-state visitors must now pay $25 to access the popular park in Hawaii. Uh, it is a snorkeling spot as well. And speaking of Hawaii, I just had a friend of mine come back from Hawaii. They are vaccinated, they have a timeshare there, and they said it was just really nothing but problems. Even though they had vaccinated cards, their vaccination cards. They had to take the COVID tests before leaving. They had to take the COVID test upon arriving. They said it was just one thing after another. And I say they have a timeshare there and they go every single year. So my point is that not everything is still easy out there. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Uh, there are things uh, that are just going to be this whole summer it might be a little traumatic for you, frankly, it might be very frustrating. It might make you want to just toss things up in the air and say, yeah, you know, I'm just not going to do it. So if you are going to be traveling, I want you to give yourself plenty of time, have a lot of patience and expect things to not work right. <laughs> Don't expect it to be like it used to be because it's not going to be like that this summer. All right, just a heads up. So they were very frustrated. He just said it almost ruined the whole trip for him, but they they made the best of it. They ended up, they, they had a good time, but still he said with all the things that we did that we were required to do, it still was very confusing. So remember that when you're out there traveling. All right. Internationally, Royal Caribbean resumes Mediterranean cruising, so good for them. Uh, new hotels await in reopened Denmark since travelers can now visit the country regardless of your vaccination status. There are some new properties to get excited about and this is happening all around the world. There are new properties everywhere. So for those of you who have stayed at the same place over and over and over, well, you might want to look into one of these new properties. Uh, there's so much building going on here in Borrego Springs. Our wonderful small community. There has been a couple hotels that have been sold. Uh, miniature golf courses coming in. Uh, there's some restaurants that have switched hands. I mean, a lot of things are going on behind the scenes of business owners moving out of the big city, wanting to come to smaller areas and starting, uh, you know, doing that dream thing of owning their own restaurant, business, whatever it is. So again, lots of new stuff going on out there. All right, also, what else here? Airlines ramp up flight service to Portugal. The country will see a leap in air service from the U.S. in July and August following its reopening to U.S. tourists. So there are places that are just welcoming U.S. tourists without any issues. 
others that are not. Hilton Resort opens on Croatia's Adriatic coast. A new hotel planned for Albania's southern coast and Thailand bets on Phuket Sandbox program to save tourism. A lot of you have been to Phuket, I'm saying that correctly. Instead of hotel quarantines required elsewhere in Thailand, tourists on Phuket will be able to roam the entire island but not travel to other parts of the country for 14 days. So again, there are different, there are different, oh my gosh, guidelines, restrictions, whatever you wanna call it, for every place around the world. So just be careful. Uh, hey Blair, how are you doing out there? Great to have you all watching. And like I say, if you missed any part of the show, don't worry about it. It will be posted on Facebook on a couple different pages, including the Traveling with Francois website, and you can check that later. Now, a lot of you have been asking me about me and traveling. Well, I'm getting closer <laughs> to traveling. Uh, it's just what I do with the television, with all the craziness and still the crazy guidelines and people not feeling comfortable yet. I have been holding off on doing any TV shows, but we continue to go ahead with this live Traveling with Francois show. So I will be out there before you know it. And speaking of travel, ACT Tours just had their first resumed Travel Club of the Desert meeting yesterday over at the Best Western, packed house, ice cream social, tons of fun, and they are selling trips like crazy. All these people are traveling, traveling, traveling. So, all right. And where am I? I am at the Borrego Outfitters here in Borrego Springs. It is a store at the mall. It's a fabulous store. There's everything here. So much fun. I love this store. I just wanted to make sure that you know you have so many options when you go to small towns. All right. Uh, oh, people, you saw Lalo dancing. Yes, if you go to the ACT Tours Facebook page, Lalo is dancing. Yes, he is, because they also had a 4th of July party up at Casa del Monte. There you go. And there was some dancing and fall. All right, everyone, I want to thank all my sponsors. So without them, like I say, um, you know what? I wouldn't be here. If you want to be a sponsor of the show, let me know. Just go to my website, at travelingwithfrancoise.com. Send me an email. Of course, I have the nonprofit Artifacts and Arts Across America, which I feature small towns, and that is the nonprofit that is the umbrella for Traveling with Francoise. So you can donate, be part of the show, whatever you want to do. I appreciate everyone that helps me and along with this, along with Craig Campbell and the Coachella Valley and today's California. So huge for me, huge platforms that we share these shows. So I can't thank him enough for all of his help. So check out his site though, his Facebook page, amazing. Today's California and the Coachella Valley. You'll spend hours on them just scrolling through. There's so much to see. I also want to thank Mike Thompson's RV Superstore, Bruce Titus, VW Palm Springs, Diane Williams and Associates, Indian Ridge Country Club, Brago Springs Resort and Spa, Brago Springs Chamber of Commerce, A1 Custom Golf Cars, ACT Tours, Dana Wharf Whale Watching, now's the perfect time to go whale watching, Cabot's Pueblo Museum, which is open by the way, I'm gonna try to do a show from there, I think it'd be a lot of fun, Johannes Restaurant in Palm Springs, they are open as well, go on over there and enjoy their famous, world famous schnitzel, Arc Attire, let me see, did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I don't know, Diane Williams and Associates if you wanna buy a home, so. All right, everyone, this is me, Francoise Rhodes, signing out, wishing you a great week. Weekend's almost here, short work week. Have fun, stay cool, use your common sense out there in that heat, and remember, it's never too late to get a life. See you next time, bye.